Hi Greedy 3Ds, welcome to today's video. Today I'm going to be making Beastie here from the X-Men universe and this is a design by Wicked Designs and I'll put a link in the description to where you can get it from. I'm a member of the Wicked Patreon and this is one of the free designs that came out I think it was last month, April. Um, it's an easy-ish design for a beginner. It's an easy one to paint. It's got no horrible skin tones. It's got no really difficult eyes. I'll talk you through the whole process of how we get it to look like this and it's not too difficult and as I say as a beginner you might just find it a little bit of an easier print than some of the other ones um, if you like what you see today please subscribe to the channel please consider joining the patreon scheme please like please share please comment and enjoy the making of the beast So Beastie's been printed on the Saturn S using some Sunlu Basic Grey. As you can see the head and the hand had a little bit of a failure in the print process so I did them again. Just used some uh, nice resin green. Just giving him a base layer of primer using the, uh, the usual Army Painter Matte Black and I'm going on for an Amiga Blue from the Mega Set to give him his blue tones this is going to go all over him i might leave a little bit of the black shining through in the shadowed areas underneath but i do want a very light coat of blue in those areas as well and once i've done that some cosmo blue just to give him a highlight i'm going to take some fairy pink now and i'm going to be really careful with this bit and i'm just going to aim inside of his mouth so to get that pinky sort of fleshy color inside and once i've done that this is what he looks like in a bit of sunlight lovely the effect i want don't worry about the overspill because we're going to move on to the brush stage now and I'm just going to touch up some of those areas around his mouth using exactly the same Amiga blue with a little bit of highlighter console blue so it all matches. Now for his teeth I'm using some of this Drake's tooth colour again army painter just to give it a base layer of tooth colour and uh, this is what he looks like with all his teeth. Don't forget the back ones need doing as well and try to not overspill onto the gums and that's, uh, that's all his teeth done. Well, that's the first stage anyway. Using some skeleton bone for his claws on his hands and on his feet. This is a great base colour for the claws. Uh, you can see the size. It's quite a small model there. When you judge by the size of my fingers, so a little bit of a careful, careful bit of painting using the brushes that I normally use, and you can get them from the item description. And there's the base layer on. Now I'm going to take some matte black and just paint his shorts. I won't show you that process, that was just pretty standard. Just take your time with it and keep it off the blue and give it a good base layer of black across him there. Now for the claws and for the teeth I'm going to use some pallid bone speed paint and I've done this many times on teeth and claws it brings them to life it just adds that extra layer and it makes them look really really well it's like a monster kind of look and that's the look we've got on the teeth brilliant and the black settles in or the dark settles in from the paint and it makes the teeth look really nice and as you can see on the claws it gives it that color too just what I'm after. For the eyes, I've gave it a base layer of the uh, Drake's tooth because I'm not too fussed about the colour because I'm going to put that speed paint into the eyes and this is a really lovely speed paint, the Zealot Yellow, because it will give you some reds, some oranges and some yellows in there and that's what I want for the kind of base, the uh, base layer of his eyes and that's what it looks like. We've had a little bit of red settling in there as well which just adds to the effect. <music> So blood red speed paint again, there's another speed paint here for the tongue and I'm just going to dab it onto his tongue just to make the tongue a little bit of a different colour. Um, take your time again with this bit, you try not to get it on the teeth, don't get it on the gums, just keep it on the tongue itself and it just adds that extra look really. Flesh wash is what I've used next and I'm just going to go around the inside of his mouth just to give it a darker area on the gum around the teeth. For his eyes, I kind of want, rather than a dot for the pupil, I want a line, um, kind of like a cat's eye if you like. So I'm just going to put a dot to where it's going to be and then I'm just going to take a really fine brush and I'm just going to paint a line down across the iris and I'm going to do exactly the same the other side. I just want that kind of cat's eye effect on him and that's what he looks like. And that's pretty much the eyes done. 
Now, again, using that flesh wash that I used earlier, I'm just going to go over some of the fur on his face just to darken it up and just to add that another layer of shadowing, really, just around his hair lines where it joins. And I've gone a little bit underneath the eyes as well and a little bit in some of the shadowed areas of his face. Again, it's just about an element of making him a little bit more interesting to look at so he's not just blue all over. I've also done exactly the same within some of the muscle areas. Just put it on, took another brush that's a little bit bigger and I've spread it out so that it fades across the more across it comes across his chest. Um, taking some uh, yellow here I'm just going to paint his belt yellow I, I don't like yellow it's hard to get a good coverage could have painted it white first, white first and then put the yellow on the top but I decided to uh, just go on the yellow it took a fair few coats but eventually we got a nice clear coat. Now using some gloss varnish I'm going to go across his teeth I want to give them that wet look uh, I'm also going to do his eyes with this and all of the inside of his mouth so I'm going to get quite a bit of it and I'm going to paint all the inside of his mouth as well get that tongue get the gums get everything in there to make it look really wet I am going to add a bit of a drip drool effect a little bit later I'll show you that later but I want the inside of his mouth to look wet to start with don't worry this stuff dries clear Pretty much the face done regarding the painting side of things. I've used some Hive Dweller Purple to give the little bit of Sentinel that he's holding a base layer. Um, I'm going to do a bit more work on it, but I just wanted it to have a base layer of a nice uh, purple colour. If I wanted the uh, speed paint to do more of an effect, I'd have painted it white first, but I was quite happy with the base purple. And I'm going to give everything uh, on the base the same colour. I want a good starting point, so I'm going to give it that speed paint. Now, taking some uniform grey, just on the rock on the base that I didn't give the speed paint purple over, I'm going to just dry brush some grey across it, just to give it a little bit of a highlight. And once I've done that, I'm going to call the rock done. I don't want to overdo that work because there's going to be other things on the base. And I used some of this red from the Army Painter here to give it a metallic look, as you can see, all over, across the bit that he's standing on of the Sentinel and I've given the same coat to the bit in his hand and using some shining silver on a little bit of a sponge I'm just dabbing that on to give it another metallic -y kind of feel to it if you will it's almost like a dry brush using a sponge Now, if you like what you see today, make sure you subscribe to the channel. You can buy anything you want from the uh, the paints that you see used. These will be in the item description and it helps us out a little bit. gives us a kickback from an Amazon affiliate link, which doesn't cost you any more, but a little bit kicks back and lets me carry on doing things like this for you guys. So you've seen me there just dry brush some silver on and that's what the base looks like after a little bit of metal varnish. And I've also just added a couple of wires into it as well, just to add an effect. That's just a couple of wires that I've cut up and stuck in with some super glue. Simple effect, but does so, so much more. Now, I've used this UV resin. Again, there'll be a link in the description just to make a drip of clear saliva coming off his face. And this stuff is great because once you seal it with a, or cure it rather with a UV light, it goes absolutely rock solid. Just take a little bit of a snip, snip it off and that's done. And I've got a great drip effect now on his face, which I'm really pleased with. So Beastie is done, a pretty good beginner's model I would say, it's not too difficult to do, no skin tones or anything, just a nice blue hue and let's have a look at him all finished.
there you go all done and dusted thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed that and i hope you found something useful out of that whole process as i say thank you to my patreons for allowing me to continue to do things like this their support really does help me and if you want to support the channel in other ways there are ways you can help please subscribe that helps of course um, if you want to buy any paints if you want to buy the brushes i use or anything at all have a look in the description and you can see an amazon affiliate link that way then you can buy through the channel it won't cost you any more at all but a little kickback comes back to the channel and again just allows me to buy paints and brushes and stuff like that to make models like this for you i hope you've enjoyed what you've seen today if you uh, if you feel like you want to leave a comment that really would be appreciated it does help uh, old auntie algorithm from uh, youtube like share it with your friends but above all please just leave a comment with your like it whether you didn't and i'll see you next time on greedy 3d Thank you.